Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can set up weight based shipping um, so shipping by the weight of the items um, using our pro version of our table rate shipping plugin. Um, I'll quickly show you the rates that we're going to set up a pretty standard set of rates we're going to set up a standard shipping method and an express shipping method maybe use express maybe use overnight or whatever works for your store and we're going to set up a few tiers in this case in this example we're just going to set up four tiers these are measured in ounces which is the default for our WooCommerce store your WooCommerce store may be different maybe measured in uh, kilograms and grams the plugin will adapt and use whatever your WooCommerce store is set up to so no no changes you have to make it will adapt to what ever standard you whether you're using kilograms and grams or pounds and ounces uh, it, it understands what you're using and works that out so why don't we jump in and and set this up straight away so if we jump on over to WooCommerce into the shipping area the first thing we do is we're going to add a shipping zone in this instance we're going to make it very simple and we're just going to make it for the United States obviously your shipping needs may be more complicated but this is what we're going to use for our example and we're going to select Table Rate Pro which is the pro version of our plugin as we mentioned let's go in and edit it pretty simple so far first thing we're going to do is add a new shipping method in this case we're going to start with the standard uh, shipping method that I mentioned just uh, a few seconds ago you can optionally enter a handling fee if you'd like to add some extra cost per order and then you get the choice whether you want the shipping to be taxed or not taxed we're gonna leave it at tax just for the example here now we get to the uh, the real work of the plugin where we actually set up the rules there's a lot going on here so I'll quickly run through these the first column is around using classes um, if you've set shipping classes for some of your products you can use those to fine-tune and really set up quite complex shipping rules indeed for this demo we're just gonna leave it to no shipping class set the condition we're gonna ship based on weight that's the condition that we're gonna be checking you can also ship uh, t you know use total price or item count to calculate the shipping as well we're just gonna use weight and then we simply go through and we're gonna set up our tiers so let's just get a quick refresher 0 to 32 is four dollars let's go through and set that in 32 to 80 I believe it was 80 yep is six dollars 80 to 160 is eight dollars and then finally what was that last one 160 and above is nine dollars so we enter 160 in here and for infinity we're going to enter a star which means from and this rule will match any weight in the car from 160 ounces all the way through to uh, infinity at the top end oh I've got a little bit of a typo there let me fix that and what was the price on that one that was nine dollars so let me get that in there okay we're simply going to save those changes done let's head back to our uh, list of methods we're going to add the express one now pretty similar you've seen uh, just seen me do it for that one so uh, for standard so now let's go through and set this up for express so 0 to 32 is seven dollars 32 to 80 is six dollars oh I got that wrong is nine dollars I was looking at the standard column there I need to get that right 80 to 160 which is 10 pounds is eleven dollars and then everything above that was 13 so 160 to infinity is 13 dollars save that pretty simple pretty quick so we have our two shipping methods set up um, the label that we typed in in this case standard and express is what appears in the car and the checkout you can also change the order and again this is the order they appear in in the checkout um, so if you have uh, a one that you would like to appear at the top and be the default you can set it that way so let's hop over to our store now um, we've got one item in the store I set the weight to 10 ounces just to make life nice and easy so here we go so this should be a 10 ounce match four dollars standard seven dollars express let's just take a look at that 
Yes, indeed. So now let's get above the 32. So we're going to want four of these items in there, which will give us 40 ounces. We get six and nine. Let's just make sure that matches up. Six and nine. Now let's get above 80. So why don't we put nine of these things in there, which will give us 90 ounces. So we got eight and 11. Let's make sure that matches up. Fantastic. Now let's get above 160. So we'll put uh, 17 of these, which will get us up to 170. 9 and 13. Let's just make sure that max. 9 and 13. So there you go. Uh, you can find out more about the plugin. There's a link uh, below the video. You can get more information on it. Uh, also, if you have any questions, feel free to submit a ticket to our through our uh, contact us uh, page on our uh, uh, on our website. Again, we're happy to answer any questions you have. But hopefully, you got a good idea of setting up shipping by weight inside WooCommerce. It's quick, it's easy to do, and very flexible. Thank you for watching.